Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Leslie and this is part three of our Kendra's cha card challenge number nine. We are doing cards sketches 11 through 15 today. So if you haven't seen those other videos, I'll try to link them down below. Otherwise, there is a playlist under my channel called Kendra's card challenges where all the videos will be. I love this embossing folder that I used on this blue paper it is from park lane um, with joann's and it was just one of my favorite ones that i created this time around i am using just liquid glue through most of this video i think i used my um adhesive tape for a couple and then i ran out of the adhesive tape and so <laughs> glue is my friend for this video putting two strips there that's the pattern paper that is part of the challenge and then using some die cuts that were from the Under the Sea monthly card kit challenge from Spellbinders. Sorry, I'm a little distracted with this voiceover because I am holding my baby daughter who is just having just a hard time today. She's been struggling with some allergy issues that we're hoping to get fixed here soon. So she likes to be held. So if you hear some baby noises, that's what's going on. I am using some foam tape to pop this element up a little bit more just to give it some more more dimension. Gives the card just a little bit extra. And I love the sentiment of this card. Dance with fairies, ride a unicorn, swim with mermaids, chase your dreams. It's just really cute and it can be used for any type of card just a hello or thinking about you or happy birthday and so you can just add whatever you want to the middle so that'll be great just adding the final bling and that's that first card well number 11 actually <laughs> and we're on to number 12 so with this one i'm using more of that foil paper that i used in the earlier video it just gives it a little bit more of that shine that I love. That's paper from Hobby Lobby. And then instead of a heart that is shown in this sketch, I'm actually using a flower. Um, I tried to um, bend it in a way that it would fluff up a little bit. It did not quite work, but you know, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> and then this is about where that um, adhesive tape just kind of died out on me and I do not have any more in my stash. So I need to do another order to scrapbook.com soon so that I can get on that. These two pattern papers are part of the uh, sketch that you have to use. But then of course all the other elements is up to you, which is really great. So that if you're looking for just a happy birthday card or a thank you card, you can kind of do your own thing. Kendra used a heart here. Um, I think that would, would have been great had I been making cards for like Valentine's Day. But since I didn't learn about this challenge until the middle of March, <laughs> we're not doing any hearts. <laughs> I guess I could have done hearts for next year, but eh, we'll make some more Valentine uh, cards later on. That was me fumbling with my uh, embellishment there. My hand tools or finger tools are not always what they're meant to be. This is me trying to get it even. I really need to get a T ruler. I think that would help. And that's that card, number 12. And then this is number 13. I really like number 13. I could see myself using this sketch uh, quite often just because it is super simple, but it just builds very, very well. So I had fun making this sketch. And then here I am trying to figure out which flowers I wanted to use. I had a couple in that um, Ziploc baggie because I wasn't sure which one I would finalize with it. So, And another embossed uh, piece of paper. I love embossing. It's why I use my die cutting machine. If you've watched my videos, you hear that often. Um, I bought my die cutting machine for embossing folders. Um, I do have a Cricut. But I do use my die cutter for cutting things, but uh, I had a Cricut, so it's like I didn't need it for that. But now that I have one, I love it so much, and I use it all the time, and not just for embossing folders. So I highly recommend die cutting machines. 
I actually got mine from Spellbinders and it's a uh, mint mint aqua color and it has flowers on it. I love it. It was one of their specialty ones that they had for a period of time and it went on sale and my husband bought it for me for Christmas. It was great. And then adding that little pendant there. Of course, that's one of the pattern paper that I used. Um, again, this Kendra's card challenge is, uses six pieces of six by six paper. And she has it all set up of how to cut that paper so that there's no scraps. And then she has all the sketches. So the new quarterly challenge will start April 1st. So I look forward to that because I'm actually getting in on the beginning this time instead of almost at the end. So hopefully I won't be rushing this as much. I can do a few cards here and there. Um, I did make all 15 of these cards over about a four-day uh, process. It took me about two nights to cut all the elements and get them in all their little bags and then another two nights to actually put all the cards together and tape this for you. So I tend to work in like hour increments here and there. Um, I craft during uh, my daughter's nap time. Oh there went the embellishment. <laughs> yeah tweezers and me not always friends. <laughs> she can see right there. Um, but anyway, yes, I craft during my uh, daughter's nap times. And then after they go to bed, I craft at night. So I get an hour here, hour there. And that makes me happy. Crafting is my happy space. Although the budget, you know, is getting a little bit tighter. <laughs> It's amazing what happens when you go like 100% I'm going to do this hobby and then suddenly you realize, ooh, that's pretty. I want to buy that and I want to buy that and I want to buy that. And then you find a company like Queen & Co and you want to buy everything. I'm just saying. Shaker cards are my love language right now and they just have them all. And that's sketch 13. It just says thankful. So sketch 14 and 15 are pretty much mirrors of each other. Um, the... Uh, purple flower paper uh, you just cut that almost in half uh, for the image and then you use one on the bottom and one on the top so I did uh, the pink I did two different embossing folders for it this one I did a flower one in the next card you'll see I did a dots one um, the flower one is park lane uh, with Joann's and then the dot one is an embossing folder from Queen & Co they have a great bundle that just had, I want to say, eight or ten um, different embossing folders just came as a bundle. Um, and it's a great uh, bundle to start out with. I want to see how many times I say bundle in this video. Bundle, bundle, bundle. <laughs> but since I was just starting out with my embossing folders, I bought it. It's perfect. I love it. I use them all the time. So I have since bought a whole Whole bunch of more embossing folders. Um, whenever I see ones on sale, I have to kind of snatch them up. So this just says a very happy birthday. I have a lot of little kids in my life, not only nieces and nephews, but uh, my daughter's play group. So I have a feeling this will come in handy real fast. <laughs> if not, I do uh, plan on donating some of my cards to the scrapbook.com's cards for kindness so maybe someone there will have a little person that they want to give a happy birthday card to so that would be nice too I do like the gold on this card it just adds a little bit more flair to it especially since it's fairy all things magical all things bling all things shiny and that's that card number 14 all right, number 15. This is our last card of the challenge. Yay, we made it. Thank you for listening to these videos and following me. I really do appreciate it. And I really hope that you're getting some inspiration from these cards and that if you gain any new techniques from me, yay. <laughs> if you have techniques for me, let me know down in the comments because I'm still learning. And that's the great thing about crafting. That there is where I'm showing you those dots. I love them. I use them in like so many different cards. Um, and then they had two different embossing folders that had dots. Ones were that 
symmetrical and then there was another set that they were random all over so I thought they kind of both went with the mermaid theme so it worked out I love it and then I'm just snipping the edges of that line I just used a little bit of white cardstock that I had left over in one of the scrap bins keep your scraps become hoarders that that's pretty much what card makers are we become hoarders <laughs> all the little scraps have potential guys and then I love this flower, the gold and white. I just thought it created so much flair and bling and prettiness. Prettiness. And then that little sentiment just says celebrate. So it could be used as happy birthday. It could be used as a congratulations, wedding, anniversary, all kinds of cards. So, And then we're just going to add a little bit of bling to the side there. I need to get another order of the gold. Um gold gems because I went through oh, pretty much all of them <laughs> um, for these cards and so I plan on going to Hobby Lobby and picking up a whole sheet of just gold because apparently I like them a lot and I use them a lot and there's that final 15th card and then here's a show of all of five of these cards together again go to the other videos to see all 15 and I hope you have a great day like subscribe bye